Hello! In this video, we're going to go over the basic setup for the USB to 485 adapter. This is a new adapter that will be provided by MCS in order to connect to the units. It will be replacing the older USB to 232 adapter, commonly referred to as the black box adapter. This adapter will be wired directly to the RS-485 port on the magnet board. The RS-485 port is located in the corner next to the Ethernet port on the magnet. And it's the second three position plug over from it. First remove the plug. We'll begin by wiring the positive wire to the terminal. And this is going to be to the terminal that's closest to the Ethernet port on the magnum. Then we're going to wire the yellow to the negative terminal. And that's going to be in the middle of the three position block. Be sure, after you get these tightened down, that you are only on the conductor in the terminal and that you're not pinching any insulation, as that could cause communication problems. Once wired, plug it into the board. Plug the adapter into the USB port on your computer. After you plug in the adapter, most of the time the computer will search the internet and install the driver for you. But depending on what version operating system you have, you might not get so lucky. Chances are if your computer is having a difficult time auto installing the driver for this adapter, you're going to have to go out to the internet and find it yourself. So to do that, we're going to go to ftdichip.com to find the driver for your USB to 485. And you can find that under drivers along the side of the web page here. Now when you find the drivers for the USB to 485 converter, you're going to want to select VCP drivers. It stands for Virtual COM Port Drivers. And we're going to select the Windows driver setup executable. And we'll save it in our downloads so that it's easy to find. And it doesn't matter what directory you choose to save this in, it's just for your own ease of finding it. Be careful not to save it in a random location that you cannot find. We save to our uh, downloads folder. So we'll go into his user account to his downloads folder. And I remember seeing the name of the executable file briefly when it was downloading and this is it. If you click on it, you'll see Future Technology Devices International LTD is a publisher, and that is the manufacturer of the adapter. So that is the correct software for the driver. We'll extract them, start the install process. Depending on your computer settings, you want to make sure that you're running it as an administrator. And then you can simply install. At which point, let's go back to the control panel, device manager, or if you're using an older uh, XP, you go to system and then you'll be able to find your device manager. And let's go down to ports, COM and LPT. And then in the bottom, we'll see the USB <coughs> serial port in the list. Go ahead and close those out and open up the Connect program. Let's verify your setup. Go into Options. And click Save. Oh, also double check your baud rates at 19200. We verified that er earlier in the keypad. 
we'll pull back the status screen and get connected. If I'm pulling back the data, you get a communication error message on your screen. Which will look something like that. And you keep getting these messages when you're trying to connect to the unit. Go back to the USB serial port and then select properties.